Hello and welcome to Science at Home. We're all going to be spending quite a lot of time at home over the next couple of weeks, so we decided we'd put together some videos exploring the science of everyday objects I can find around my home and you can probably find around your home too. My name is Dan, I'm a physicist, I usually teach physics up at Manute University, but the university's closed so I'm at home. You might be wondering what is a physicist and what is physics? Well science can be broken up into three main parts. Biology, which is the study of living things like humans, plants, animals. Uh, chemistry, which is the study of chemical reactions. And then physics, which is pretty much the study of everything else. And what do we mean by everything else? Well, electricity, sound, light, heat, speed, atoms, molecules, stars, planets, everything you can think of has got physics in it. A physicist is a problem solver and someone who really wants to break something apart and get right down to the middle of it and understand how it works. So that's what we're going to do with everyday objects we find around the house. We're going to break them apart, look inside and really, really understand how they work. In our first episode, we're going to explore a particular object that I know you all have because you couldn't hear me if you didn't have it. To explore this object, I'm going to use an old ancient artifact I found lying around my home. Ancient artifact, please. A CD player. Ooh. Well, we don't care about CDs because who cares about CDs anymore? But what we are interested in is a speaker. All of you have a speaker somewhere in your device, either in your headphones, in your laptop, in your phone, but you're hearing my voice through a speaker. So how is a speaker able to reproduce my exact voice in the room as if I was there beside you? How does it work? Well, we're going to figure it out doing a few different steps, but the first thing we need to understand is how does sound actually work? Next object, please. Object, please. Thank you. That was a sound. What is a sound? I could make a sound myself. Maybe you'll try making it at home. Make a sound. Well, what was it? It's easy to take it for granted to just be like, I know it's a sound, but what is a sound? What makes a sound? Pause the video for a second and have a chat with whoever's beside you and see what they think. I hope you came up with some good ideas. Sound is just a vibration. When you hit something, it vibrates. That causes the air to vibrate. That causes your eardrum to vibrate. And that sends a message to your brain. When you talk, your vocal cords vibrate. Put your fingers against your throat and make a sound. Ah, uh, you'll feel it vibrate. So sound is just a vibration, but we can't see it. Let's take a look a little bit closer so we can actually see it. If you want to actually see the sound vibrating, you have to turn a speaker up really loud and get really close. And that is really dangerous. Don't try this at home. I'm wearing high-end ear protecting equipment and it's going to save my ears. If you do it without that equipment, you'll really damage your ears. So don't try this at home. Let's listen to some awesome Dr. Mindflip and see how the speaker actually moves. As you can see, the speaker is moving and that movement moves the air which moves my eardrum which means I hear it. We can actually see the physical vibrations and they correspond exactly to the vibrations that would have been in the recording studio when this was recorded. An exact replica of those vibrations is coming out of the speaker right now and into my ear. Right, so the speaker vibrates in exactly the same way as whatever it's playing. So if it's playing my voice, it vibrates the exact same way as my throat vibrates. If it's playing a guitar and a drums, it vibrates exactly the same way as the guitar and the drums vibrate. So it can reproduce the exact same vibrations, which means the exact same sounds. But how is it able to do that? How can it reproduce the exact same sounds? Well, just like all good physicists, we need to break this apart into its smallest parts and take a look at them to see how they work. 
Hammer, please. Here's our speaker. Mm -hmm. This is all it is. So how does it work? Well, there's a metal disc. There's a couple of wires. And there's this kind of cardboardy surface. So this is the part that vibrates, yeah, do, 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 to make the sound. There's just two wires going in and nothing else. How does it work? Well, we have to understand what electricity is first. We measure electricity with voltage. This is a 9 volt battery. This is a 1.5 volt battery. It basically means how strong the battery is. But we can measure it using this device. This is an oscilloscope. This little green dot in the center, it means that there is no voltage between these two probes. If we connect them to this battery, we can see nine volts appear on the scale. If we count that out, we get nine volts. If we connect the 1.5 volt battery, we'll see 1.5 volts, 1.5 volts. So as you can see, the height at which the dot goes tells us how many volts we're getting from our battery. So we can measure a voltage using this device. There's also a different type of voltage, a voltage that changes with time. Now I'm going to connect my oscilloscope up to this device here. It's called a function generator and it makes an AC voltage. Now we see the voltage going from negative to positive to negative to positive, changing at a constant rate. We can make it do it faster or we can make it do it slower. So there are two different types of electricity, alternating and direct. Direct comes from batteries, alternating is what you get from the wall. So voltage can be constant or voltage can change. Okay, we're kind of getting an idea. So electricity goes through these wires and somehow makes this vibrate. Well, there's one little thing that we're missing. There's a magnet. Every speaker has a magnet. So what's a magnet got to do with making the speaker vibrate? Well, let's have a think about what a magnet actually is. So I have two different types of magnets here in front of me. A fridge magnet, I took off the fridge. It has a permanent magnet on the back. Looks like this, a little small magnet. It's always turned on and they can be pretty strong. I also have an electromagnet. So an electromagnet gets turned on when you put electricity through it. I pass electricity through this wire and I coil the wire around and around and around and around just around the metal object and it becomes a magnet. You can turn on and turn off an electromagnet. You can turn it off and on. A permanent magnet is always on, it's permanent. You might have seen electromagnets before in maybe doors at your school or something. If you have to swipe the door or press a button to open the door, it's an electromagnet that keeps it shut. When you press the button, it turns off the electromagnet and allows you to walk through. When the electricity comes back on, the magnet turns on again. So it's important to remember that you can have electromagnets that turn on and off and permanent magnets that always stay on. And remember, magnets can be either attracted to each other or repelled from each other. So what has this got to do with a speaker? Well, if we take our speaker from earlier, and if we disassemble it a little bit, we can see that we have this papery surface here that's kind of bouncy. Yeah, you can move it like so. And you have our magnet at the back. So what about if we tear this open a little bit more and see what's inside? Let's do that now. Okay, so tear it open and the papery bit is attached onto this. What happens if we go inside here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
what's inside here is a tiny little coil of wire. So this is an electromagnet. Inside a speaker, you have an electromagnet inside a magnet. So we have a permanent magnet here and an electromagnet here. We can turn this one off and on, and this one is always on. But how does that make sound? Okay, so here's a speaker we didn't destroy. But we know from the other speaker that this papery cardboard section is connected to an electromagnet that sits inside a permanent magnet. And we put electricity through these wires and somehow it makes it vibrate and create sound. So right now I'm putting electricity through this wire. We can see it here in this oscilloscope that we're connected to. And the electricity is changing from positive to negative at the rate at which you see this dot move up and down. Positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. When it's positive, the electromagnet is attracted towards the other magnet. When it's negative, it's pushed away. But we're not hearing any sound. Why is that? Well, sound vibrates really, really, really fast. So we need to turn up the rate at which our electricity is going from positive to negative. Let's do that. Now we hear a sound. The electricity is going positive, negative, positive, negative, really, really fast. So the dot has just become a straight line. And if I change that speed slightly, we get a different note. We can get a high-pitched note or a low-pitched note. And the only difference is the speed at which the electricity is changing from positive to negative. It's essentially making that electromagnet be attracted to the magnet or pushed away from the magnet. And that's how we're able to make it vibrate. And that vibration is sound. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed that little video. I hope you learned a thing or two about how speakers work. Important thing to mention, don't ever take apart electrical equipment while it's plugged in, ever. And never do it without an adult supervision. It's really important. You can really hurt yourself. Okay, but um, thanks so much for tuning in. Hope you've enjoyed it. It was our first little video, a little experiment, doing what we could find around the house. Uh, I hope you enjoy your own little time in your own house and uh, feel free to tune in. Keep an eye out for the next videos. They should be posted online pretty soon. Thanks a lot, guys, and see you soon. <laughs>
Nien Tishi of the Enchi. Ach, we a Gary Ve and a Ban Rain. We she a Gary Gedichet Mir and Ra Lehi. Kahime and Ruig a her or Edin or Shisha. Jimmy Fum Nach Lehi, Gachach and Dri, Sahil. And will Malach to Kuachtach Egan Ogget a Jeffrey she de. Drech to Garaha, a Yohid Ray Lehedin. Himmel and Dri a Eso Gusmunchach. Tag a kinche, er shishin. Curry may drecht wally her, er aiding. Rune and dree a yahool. Hussy shay er orcha arsta ara. Orcha a her gich grechta ek shedju heart er aiding. Chas a gus lub and gich in a shedjan she. A gus casu aiding. Chimple. Agus Chimple. Nur a stad and re, ni ban ogavi in shini smo, ach felakan, al and jarig. The aiding trina kela, will she a kach skehan gunyau kinche? Jerry and rich gagaru ger arish. Heeb she, agas head she, agas skib she, and fail a canner huel, undoon agas a wad over. Er fai shacht me in a fada, shed you aiding sure agas sheer er in gri. Will she a hetchog aga fein a girdy a balach a yanu rash higmer? A harish, agas a rishella, skibu er huli, an gri a casu, chempo agas chempo. Lawan, hedge gusta moor gihia aiding, a shach tree goris in noon than a usel. Ballery line and doon, a gus we face the moor or shulan and lashin. We te gach be, a gus re gach gi, laka amach er na tabli. We echo ga aiding, trum la tersa. Her chas and hala marwal er he. Hit she. She's she slehi, nugger hit she is jach in linya fena er in tabla. Thick banri and line suis and glinya. Chlug she sheer, bulligam fena, agus chlug she and felacan, in enacht lishen jach. Gagurgin a yeshin, fur and wanri and a mach grushi a gumper clinya. He may not mail pies to ugging chicha er san re. Agus e a kennelt spolag mor a vra aga sona. Kopla shaktan an eeshen, ar eeches stirramu, wool crag ar gharas mor an doon. Mer a vion, e flach baiche. Ka da hog art ve am wich ar eeche mar sa, a jifri an man rein de. Ta blint a fada catcha aga magtashtil na chira ar larig edin magragal a dyrche gabronach. Ach nil turisg erhi in atcher bi. Edin ar san wanrein lahi hain. Nach even an tanya me shin. Lim alanu sa vrin. Rawad, rogu babi, the ri agas the wanrein lain. Bobby Allen of the Inchy. Can Tanya McCurdy Majerhi, or son Ree, Lishin Wan Rain? Aideen, or son Wan Rain. It's just in Tanya May, or son Ree. I guess Orange Shade Day or Valch Egan, Nach Norin. Das Aideen and a Kalin Cardio Kenalta. The Inchin Yer Eki, a Vico Gasta Ligeria. And Clicha a Barlehi, Nafihil. Agus the chamasach and timroar e. Near heaven the heading rudder be for na shan seal. Ach anamana view brinlodge ashjach eki. Brinlodge in a mushi hain ek etchilch er fodna heron. Agus e in a thalacan. Lawan, near the heading ocht mlena jag deish. Hanak sheer a tishmahori. Agus iad graithach le litraha agus le mali oor. Vi siad an toka. 
a idi na chri ar san wanrin ta jashkila ogintech ta tu han ardrin heran achi afasu ta gachrad sakri ogin wen an skila sha getch af edin wacht posu ar shisha ach nir wailam sa strancher afasu es far doyal e ar sa maher gichikasach ogus ta or ogus aragadega ogus stormor showed ar sa haher Glock and Wanry and Lau Aiding, a gis impi in a glor. A gis Najan Jarmid, gird of Eintok Joe and Timroar Fihilia A. Och an Anion Shinner Fad, be Cree Aiding, who trum the cloch. Dagri re a gis Banry and Lion faced the Hanan Posu a Ogurch. Hug should curry the gach re the cheer they on. Fi mirror in a mask. A luhia as a leg she sul er edin dachin she e. Ba vegnar flesk a hri la hahas. Kegaro blain sa fada a miha heart, nero achri de laia der edin. Vi she ko hal in kena lish an ur yarnach er lag mirror sul er he. A edin a hra er shishin la he. Sa jeru hir hal ta tu amshi ha ugum. Dark Aidin er an ar strancherha go fisrach. Ke hosse er shishalesh. Ni lachnir be yogamart. Och mar shen hein. Vi rodegin fuin dinna usel as a koramach. Och er kushla Aidin ek prabu na hocht. An ichishin. Vi brinnod jeki. An brinnod ashtach hena. Ear fallen to spare in a fela kan jarig. Och se brinnod. Wahi she gra e glasu, e gri an elekain. Gra ho boon the carig, is ko bug lishida. Gra the ver. Nura waskal she, vi kivnya eki er gachrod. Er umnach, er andri, agus er neblinta a vi katcha eki mer elekain. Achni smo na rother be ella, kivni she er ver. Agus ar an grá a bhí acu de chéile. Is cibhin liom an isiú ar sa éadín leis? Is cibhin liom gach rud? Sá lin mar sin ar sa mér ag tógál a láu. Tá ma charabad ré, éilo ag ma dhúnát sá. Bé ma dhúl a chéile ar ís go dhúnán an ór. Ach níor wáil a héadín éilo í fúi rún ón a tishmahúrí. Níor wáil a héadé ar a chéhu go dhú. Hasi si ik smuinu ar flan. An laar na warach, hui si chan kainche la chachi. An imroi ti klicha fichil ilam a ardri ar shisha. Imroi agus falche ar shisha ng gasasta. A kein dui si veig an vuchor. Keed kapel ar sa eidin. Dimmer shid an klicha fichil ya agus chayl eidin. Hug she and Kade Kapel da. Be Tishmahori aiding her Bwala lehi. Imroi Majerish is the aiding. Kane do she never saw her the ahi. Ya Kade ba her the aiding. Be o Kade log at her the ha her lehi. Ach dimmer she didn't click it. Chail aiding and Dara her. Hug she and da Kade ba the ahi. Clicky a wan jaranach, er shisha, Ogus rud er beef win spare a hastian on witch or marguish in yerisha. Na jan er se tishmahori edin gunervishach. Rin achi gaira. Nero clicky fichelia kalche reu egge. Vishay sever, agus kibi mwina vi egge, vishay rincha la hedin, nor vichid pasta kibi. Lí éadín agus achí a seach ar an chlíche fíhilie. Wár an cian seo ar fai seacht la agus seacht níche. Chrid éadín lena hinsin ghear gasta, a bíl chanta eki a nian wachnú. Corrú mwil ar an wánish mar gealar chréinia na himrha. Ach níor wáil a ceachtar imrúr gealú. Sa gerú fyr éadín an lawan uchtar ar achí. Wyn me a sgart si gabuachach. Las e an ar dri lanaira. 
will to go carrot cormay or sitting agus creek in a lower anish can do a shit at it. But while I'm mere of us ears the eating, tell me in rallish. Dark achir and van o gos a core. Hanak shane drich blue jingwalcha and a soul a clistia. Belair groshi dunta in ral a mere. Fixe susan scrolla our own galtimus post a scrifa on. Stroke she and a yalach eh. Tugum machiad as mavanachi posu or session. A ver, a ver a scarch aiding in Arjakin. And this is Vigil and Posu. Chaishi a yalao harder ver, agus lusk should birch lakela galuharach. Shalin rash hig the rune hainers the aiding. Tell me a gdul in the echalarish. Ta agus misha er summer. Ak dun the bircha agin a they un un la shalmach. Lachan gaira er a aiding. Add the school much the kela or shisha by much son of Sasta. The sailor gum grow in shall sell this in the scale shin. Ox not from the picture we got Holland. Nash Kerjums the Nahul Scammel on Gan Galan. Ox not feature. Ger feature a go knee, Rod Mike, a yammy or mass. Am Ox. Ox came in a ruddy to Ogging the Laharnahura, Nach me and Ogging the Gra. Na am, ta much can you sever la am? Agus ta jes intach doing an chin, they crahiach agus they scream. So ma ta dun yo be in my an chin so wala agus do lagi se scream yo. Ta couple of smoiny yo gum jeef, ka jock the love show where scale he in a scream. Smoiny yo wan, ik chat the ma ho lower show, na an clicky thigli. Nur a smoiny much fun clicky thigli, ka jane can you scale. A spragan shin. Kaje harliet de meo tussa. Morfisa emerha, a glacia fehilia. Agus goro or tridge, an yidden and dachella, and tea vella, gan stad. Tashkeo stain shin, gajevin. No one run ella now wakes my new fui an etchulch. Sishkeo shall be eating in a thalacan, a gzig etchulch, or fudna heron. Ich habe mir ein bisschen mehr etschelt, aber ich habe mich nicht mehr gedreht. Nur Fritz, ohne Acht, ich habe mich nicht mehr gedreht. Und was soll ich sagen? Ich habe mich nicht mehr gedreht. 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 Grab your colouring pens and pencils now for a fun illustration workshop with Unfailicon Agasan Re illustrator Shona Shirley MacDonald. Dilyuf is Mr. Shona is much her lara of screen nor me, Agasinu, Tawakhan, Pisa Adina Akrahu, and for him Vil Shankas, and Beastry is barely. Shared is Mir Shankas and no lara mosha, long dante, fear and the top yo, of his more head will earn. Expression being on the head, drink to the sound head on. She could be something on the male mission. And what is problem? So for the male shank is she. None of picture and matter had in hand for her fantasy. She on me to solve it. On quite do of the track of grammar or a naigena. That she had co all in a good sound head. Comparison to is problem fine of the head and the male shank. And the slower and fairer connection we. As she in a brief character, Aidy is just a bit of a hunk. Is Shan Scale of Vyatas Nehiran a scale show? A ancient ik me fain agus an scrib nor marzef. Is veder patron skihan an eilakon a ekelon show? Patron a revs pragha ik ne love scribing mi anishnache. Lesh an kaun is kalulas an arif an lauer kaninish. Fugu is she na keita dina arish is kun she spragha un taxteishu le fos. Marshin licked on two of her with damn her feeling a heart. Don Kyaksha, by Popper A3 X A Kahar of Tastel. No, via Kartler, Nisviar, Maltashe got. Scuba Gus Ishke, Molly Te for Flach, Sizur, Rilur, Pian Louis Agus Pion, Bjorhagus Krishan Agus Blue Tech. Erdus, Kahamid and Popper A Ishu. No, come at Nishina Kher Er. 
Tom Shek Band Usod as Lahnach A tree, Ach is Feder Ain Tosh, Papair Usod. Tonic Villa Immel and Lahnach, Agus and Shin, Extroke and the Nimmel, Ern Lina Filte, and Kama Garav Achar Erhu. Enish, Don Kate came Ella, Ta Art and Malate Flach Fur a all, Agus Ea Dabba Har and Lahnach am Lawn. Ban Usod as an maid islu Ishke Gerfader lad. Anas nachvain and piece of paper roll lach. Nur tashin den tagat, sheen mach er drum kacharm in art choli le chung. Don heid came ella to art lach nach nua e kahar a all, agus kere kar noge a harrant a mach er. Tom shake den of makar noge ne centimeter er ad. Anish tashi nam tun or nanda heb yatasacher, agus ar bestina a harrant a mach. Dech mi fein ar chuple mil sianachas nu bistris o na mian ishine la haig insparad. Chan man vi fein a chrahu, tam kan treha speishule o gha fir anvahe a raunu, agas na treha sin a chrhele keile chan anvi nua fantasach a chrahu. Tamig raunu treha dragon, mar zanvi dreach tuul e chan fein, agas treha ias glash, mer chapen go vechig se go hintach agas aad. Don Kate Kian Ella, Tom Contrehe Kian Kat Agas Slugan Shelde, a Kerle Kale. A reach Tommy Giri Radegan, Ashtach Agas Grambra Akrahu. Ik me tril as trehe loon agus trehe verakluvach nu katpiller a usod. Tasa ban tril as anvahe moor agus anvi pjog a kerle keile. Dan kian dernach, tam kan kian ein vanach, agus skihan agus anga aller a hangt. Es veder anachud mir de ashtachach, mar sha a eklis no blav skrivini. Usa de Vant as Pin Louis Ishkedaha, Kani de Kahurstach. Margo will na pictur sach pilg a cas bean nismo smach de gut de Pin Louis. Kamalishin is Federalum come a paint a her arhu, Marheim Harste, the scoob a cas brain pilg ishke. Nobby Burha mona will Pin Louis Ishkedaha a gwif sovalium, is Federin rad a ta gwif a Usaad, Kani de Kahurstach.
Okay, tashi rig. Anish ta oran idikar emach. Nur ta or good and the hug garha emachagun is fader yid a her erin love screaming a krahumer ni sluhe. Er cool the picture dan the hug a ta garha emachagun, keramid piece of blue tag snakuni. Anish is faderlin yid a lagan emach erin love screaming. Nur ta tu saste leshen ot in a will sheet erin lahana. Tashi nam duan anam a her doiv. Agus rutbiog a scrib fuhu. Tashi gahamlan sus ditcha cane size kulra agus character ata dan ve fantasich. Dead fa olas a hurt ka vaifer eid. Cane size glory in and sheed. Cane koch driech dool a talko. Banusa das the haulach vein can a character vein ashtach a orbert. Is better lesh of a kriechna anish mas mean lad. Nu, es malam and swine of mapa akrahu, can ta spawn ho konin sheed. Nu, deid fa crave ginelig, spatial ashtach akrahu few. Tashiga humlan su stitche. Er dere, es fader lin e a rolla suis agus e a kangle the piece of strang nu ribin. Maravekin shiv, rinneme cool and fapir, lesh na mali te huma. Tuckin shay begani nismo ama, marvin or fenachter and ha te vlitrum. Okay, Tom with data. I'm not untoch to you, Jankas, nor Kafeder lad, Nismo and the Pantishka, a howlu, a machancha. I guess he had a hurlet, the love screaming, trich to fame. Mahu is a part and glacus a cardlancha, a gasulagum govantu tanavas. My name is Malcolm Riverstock, and you are very welcome to this week's episode of A Handy History, where we come to you from the beautiful island of Ireland, the land of saints and scholars. On this week's program, we will be travelling the highways and byways of Ireland, leaving no town or village unturned in our search for never-before-heard-of facts from the cold face of history. Hello, Maureen, and thank you for taking the time to talk to us. Can you tell us about that eventful morning back in 1916 when you met Pollock Pierce for the first time? I can, of course. I was in the kitchen here making a bit of breakfast as usual when I heard an unmerciful rumbling coming from outside. I stuck my head out the window when I saw this young fella sauntering past and I shouted at him, Where do you think you're going? Me, says he. Yes, you, says I. Off to change the course of Irish history forever, says he. You won't be changing anything on an empty stomach, says I. I can hear your stomach rumbling from in here. Come into the kitchen and I'll give you the tastiest fry up you've ever had. Tell us a little about Pollock Pierce. What kind of a man was he? Hungry. But he must have eaten, let me see, 30, no, 35 sausages that morning. Thirty-five sausages. Easily. And he loved drinking tea. Must have walked his way through sixteen pots of tea, swilling down the sausages and the pudding and the toast he was. And you were alone, were you? There was nobody helping you with the cooking. No, I was all of me lonesome here. But I'm not afraid of a bit of hard cooking. And well, I can tell you, Parrick Pierce put me through my paces that morning. And then when he was done... He slept? Not at all, no. I heard the banging and the booming, and didn't I turn to him and say, Ah, they're letting off the bangers and the fireworks across the road again. And he says to me, They're no bangers nor fireworks, madam. That's the sound of war. And then? And then he was up on his feet like a shot. Are you done, says I? I am, says he. And you're a goodly woman for feeding me, he says. I'm off now to change the course of history. Ah, you yeah, indeed, now, I thought to myself. And that was that, was it? Out the door and off to battle. He did go out the door, but he came straight back in, and he asked me if I'd make a batch of sausage sandwiches for all the lads down in the GPO. They'd be stuck down there and not a rasher among them. So you fed them too? I did indeed. Well done for playing your part in the rising. No bother. Would you like a little bit of breakfast while you're here? No, Maureen, I have already eaten. Ringo is a jewel in the ring of Kerry, 
and it is there that we meet local celebrity Timmy Foley, also known as the Dolphin Whisperer. Good morning, Joe, you, and you're most welcome inside my fishing boat here in Dingle Bay. My name... I'm known locally here as Trawler Tim because I'm always out and about in my boat. My real name is actually Timmy Foley. You want to know about fungi, is it? Well, no, I could talk about fungi the dolphin all day long. Not a lot of people know that I was actually fungi's best friend. Yes, he shed it himself, his best friend. I used to go down to see a fungi maybe three, four times a day. Should I bring him down his breakfast in the morning, two boiled eggs, then his lunch, a toasted ham and cheese sandwich, and he'd have a plate of spuds for his dinner. And he loved nothing better than a mug of hot chocolate before he went off to bed. But a fungi was actually a gale goer, for oh, he spoke the most beautiful Irish. He'd always be messing with me every morning. He'd spring up out of nowhere and shout, Connorsata to Timmy Foley. <laughs> he'd frighten the life out of me. I'd eventually catch sight of him and he'd be splitting his sides laughing, rolling around in the water. I'd reply, Tom, go ma, fungi, you mess are you? And he'd be dancing and lipping around in the water. And he'd often come up and he'd be circling around the boat and looking in and sniffing good oh. He'd ask me straight out every day, Timmy, have you any food inside in that boat at all at all? The clever fella be after smelling whatever I had. And on this day I had four donuts I'd bought above in Nancy O'Reilly's bakery. Two of them custard and two of them jam. I'd say to him, now very serious, I've only the one donut for you today now, Fungi. Oh, he'd get wicked cross then with me, knowing I had four in the bag. The long and the short of it was, he'd end up scuffing the four of them and the paper bag and all. Fungi loved sugar. Oh, he'd be lipping up out of the water after the sugar and he'd be posing for photos and signing autographs for tourists. I miss him something terrible myself. I can always remember him singing. He could sing anything from I swam it my way to rolling in the deep. But he used to sing this song all the time. I've been a wild dolphin for many's the year And I've spent all my money on ice cream at the pier But now I'm returning with a love of the shore And I never will play the wild dolphin no more And tis no, nay, never Good man, Fungi No, nay, never, no more Will I play the wild dolphin in Dingle no more. Ah, he was a great singer, Fungi, and his likes will never be seen here again. Right, so, I better go off and catch a few fish. Twas lovely chatting to you, Malcolm, and the best of luck with your documentary. If I'm fortunate enough to catch sight of the great Fungi again, I'll be sure to tell him you're asking for him. Shlan Malcolm, Shlan Awalia. We are delighted to have with us a very special guest. Someone who I've been told will be a familiar face to many of you, especially those fans of rock and roll. Yes, it's frontman to the almost international band To You. It's Rocker Zono. Yeah, well, actually, like all good things, Malcolm, it started in the shower. Oh, right. And what shower might that be, Zono? Oh, it was the shower back in my house where I grew up, you know. There was a lot of us in the family, 15 brothers and 16 sisters, so getting into the bathroom in the morning was a bit of a trauma, you know. So when I got in there, I made the most of it. And there I was one day, washing under the old armpits, when suddenly I, I heard this amazing beat coming from somewhere. So I pulled back the shower curtain, and there, sitting on the jacks, was my old mucker, Barry, banging away on a few pots and pans and wow man did it sound cool and then I looked over <laughs> at the taps and there was the sledge harmonising away with the hot and cold it was amazing and then of course old McAdam popped his big head in and there he was with his double bass and that was it that was the moment that was when the rock and roll was born and there was another famous band in your class as well is that right? no no, there was no other bands in our class. Don't think there's any other bands in the whole school, actually. Oh, really? I, I thought you were in school with a certain famous band. Bono, The Edge, Larry, hey? Bono, The Edge and Larry? No. 
I, I don't know. I've never heard of them, Malcolm. I think you might be in some kind of a parallel universe there, you know. No, no, no. We were the only musos in Mount Temple at that time, that's for certain. Hmm, really? Because, um, some of your song titles are remarkably similar to theirs. Really? Oh, um, which ones would they be? Oh, well, let me see. There's, um, I Still Haven't Found the Shower Door. Oh, it's a great tune. With or Without the Shower. I love that song, man. Where the Showers Have No Name. Oh, man, the fans just adore that tune. I mean, it's quite an extensive list. I could go on. No, 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 it's fine. But, you know, Malcolm... They're all classic tunes. They came out of me, you know. They're all originals. They came from my heart and my, my, uh... Your shower, Zonu? Yeah, my shower, Malcolm. My, my shower, yeah, that's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Indeed. <laughs> um, thank you for your time. Ladies and gentlemen, Bono. Uh, it's Zonu, actually. Zonu, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. You know what it's about. Paddy, it is a delight to meet you. Could you just tell me a little bit about how you yourself are connected to the patron saint of Ireland? Oh, no, let me see for you know, Malcolm. I suppose he'd be uh, my great, 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 our oh, great, our oh, great, yeah, great, great, that's great, 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 lovely, great, great grandfather. There'll be the connection there, you know. And tell me, Paddy... Has there been any genealogical research done on your claim or anything scientific to go along with it? OK, yeah, the head, oh, yeah, I have a piece of paper here, you know, hang on. See, this is why the age. Paddy is related to St. Patrick. There you go, there's the proof there now. See, have a wee bit there now yourself, good man, Malcolm. And yes, true enough, written here in Byro, it says Paddy is related to St. Patrick. And we both have the same name. His name was Patrick, my name's Patrick. He was a saint, but I'm Paddy. But we both have the same name on the birth certificate, you know. Uh, yes, could I, Paddy, has it ever been questioned or possibly refuted that you might not technically be related to St. Patrick just because you both have the same name? And that you wrote it down on a piece of paper that you are related to St. Patrick? Oh, no. So who would refuse to thing like that? That'd be a stupid thing to do. So look, the one I even I'm wearing this hat, sure. So. Paddy, are you suggesting that that hat you're wearing is in fact the hat of St. Pat Patrick? Oh, aye, it is. It is indeed. This tail is the same, very same hat that he wore when he got rid of all the snakes out of Ireland. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is it. The one and only. Paddy, I am amazed. Ah, no. <laughs> I'm only joking with you. This isn't the real one. This is only a copy. I have the real one at home under the bed. <gasps> Oh, no, I shouldn't have said that. My mammy's always telling me, don't tell people where the Harry St. Patrick is. What if somebody breaks into the house and takes it? Huh? Indeed, indeed. Uh, but, Paddy, shouldn't that hat possibly be in a museum? Maybe the National Museum of Ireland? Oh, no. Why would you do a thing like that? No, no, no. I have that hat there now for special occasions, and I wear it every time there's a special occasion going on. Um, special occasions such as, um... Well, you know, Fridays. I like to wear one every Friday. Paddy, thank you. Thank you so much. You are a remarkable man. Oh, no, no worries. You enjoy your stay here now with us, Malcolm. You have a lovely time. I have to get back to work now. Got to get on with the milk round. Bye. We are honoured to be welcomed this week by the President of Ireland to his residence, Aras and Uchtaron. You are most welcome, Malcolm, and might I just say it is an honour to have you as a guest here at Aras and Uchtaron. Well, firstly, it is a great pleasure for me to be the big fellow of Ireland. You know, the head honcho, the skipper, the gaffer, the kingpin, the big cheese, the big wig, the governor. Yes, Sabina and I love dogs, and it sometimes feels as if Orisonuktoron is actually a giant doghouse. Look, here comes Broad now. 
Who's a lovely fellow? I said, who's a lovely fellow? Give me the paw, Broad. Broad, give me the paw now. You're making me look weak on camera in front of the people of Ireland. Food, 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 food. I'll rustle you up a triple-decker ham sandwich as soon as I've concluded my interview with Malcolm. Food, 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 food. Now, now, young man, stop that. You're being a very rude doggy in front of our guest. Walkies, walkies, walkie, 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 walkies. We'll make up your mind, Broad. Is it food or walkies you want? Food, food, food. Yes, but remember what I said. Malcolm first, then food. And if you're the best boy in Ireland, I'll take you for a quick walkies around the Phoenix Park. Is that okay now, Grumpy? Does that suit your needs? Yes, yes, yes. My sincere apologies, Malcolm. Now, where were we? Well, now. I have always been a huge fan of the great poets down through history, and I'm also quite fond of rap music. I'm the president of Ireland, can't you see? Higgins is the name, but call me Michael D. Speaking poetry on every track and mix, I'm by far the greatest Whig in politics. Defending what I say to commentators, I've had so many battles with my haters, telling me my beliefs are out of line, but I've been turning up since 1969. Food! Food, food. I'm afraid, Malcolm, we'll have to conclude there. I better rustle up some grub for this fellow, or he'll keep going on at me. Gur of meal of mahogat, hug a slong of phone. Pull the door out after you. Food, food, food.